video, I do big girl things. I take the plane all by myself, I ride the bus with a huge check bag at my feet, and I lug her around alone through the pebble streets of Nice looking for my Airbnb. Like I said, big girl things. Getting ready for my flight. I'm gonna be alone in Nice, so I'm really excited for that because I've been staying in hostels for so long and just haven't had any alone time. So I've been coughing a bunch because at our last hostel, the air was so dry and the AC, the first night someone put it to 16, which is actually a sin. I get sick really easily when submitted to intense temperature changes. And then yesterday's travel day stressed me out so much. I cried so much. So I have a really stuffy nose and I feel like shit right now. I really need to like rejuvenate. We've been really going at it this past month. I haven't really been taking care of myself. I haven't been sleeping that much. We went out a lot. Vegetables have not been part of my diet. I'm just excited to be able to have a kitchen to just cook and like take it easy. I actually have a shuttle picking me up in 30 minutes. So I'm just gonna pack everything up and go. This has been my little room. I journaled so much last night and that's my pretty view. I arrived at my Airbnb after a very smooth day of traveling. That is my forgetting my passport in the overhead compartment of the plane and thinking I was stuck in France forever aside. I hadn't had the privacy of my own room in a month and entering this Airbnb was cathartic. <laughs> Confused. Can I not walk? Okay, we'll figure that out later. My host left me a pretty slice of pistachio cake on the table. How she knew that's my favorite remains a mystery to this day. I'm gonna lie down for a bit and then I'm gonna go explore. I spent my first day wandering around and getting a feel of the city. I made it to the main strip and ventured around there. up some fruit from this fruit and veggie Italian little market on the way back. The owner was lovely and her produce was just as great. Experiencing a micro burnout from being on the go non-stop for a month, partying and always running to the next destination, so I found myself craving downtime. I spent hours writing in my journal and restarted The Handmaid's Tale by Margaret Atwood, my first read of the year, believe it or not. I'm a little ashamed of that, but I truly couldn't have asked for a better opener. I was like, I'm gonna read 25 books this year, and I have read zero books this year, and <laughs> we're the month of June. It's so easy for me to find other distractions. Obviously, I know kind of the premise of the book, Book. It's like a comment on women's roles in society and like their childbearing role, right? I'm already noticing things like her choice of words sometimes is really enlightening Like she uses words like fertile even though it's not necessary I don't know. I like when I'm reading and things jump out at me and I feel like I could look into them more I find it so fun. I really enjoyed my literature class first semester and I won't shut up about it And so <coughs> I just missed Reading. I think it's like 8 30 or 9 and I'm gonna read a bunch journal and then I'm gonna plan my few days here Maybe I'll do a day trip. I was like debating going to the beach and like tanning But I'm stressed because I'm alone. I was just like walking on the strip and I felt so many Disgustos staring at me and like I don't think I could go to the beach alone It would really stress me out to be in my bathing suit by myself so I think I'm not gonna do that. I think I'm gonna do some sightseeing tomorrow and like take it easy and read my book. Yesterday I did so much journaling and so I'm excited to do some more. Okay.
As I mentioned countless times, I took to journaling during this time and did some much needed introspection once I had time to myself. I began with asking myself lighter questions, if you will, like what aspect of traveling alone slash with Mila was I most looking forward to? What did I want to remember these final weeks as being? How could I slowly work to improve the way I see myself, feel about myself? Whenever I travel and my routine changes, naturally, so does my body, and that prompts me to feel a lot of negative feelings towards myself and provokes lots of self deprecation which I tend to write a lot about to help myself realize it's all in my head appearance is not as important as we all make it out to be shifts are normal as I grow and I'm enjoying myself so that's what I should be focused on I also wrote about what I was most excited for jotting down places and events I was looking forward to visiting and attending which was really helpful during this in-between phase when I was coming off the high of traveling with my friends to being all by myself I'd never been in an unknown city on my own and all Although I was happy to have my space and be able to finally think and reflect as I like to do after vacations end, it could be a little lonely to venture out without someone to share meals, observations, and even simple silence with. After being so out of touch with myself for a few weeks as I was trying to be in the moment as much as possible and just take advantage of my time with the girls, all my emotions and inevitable more unpleasant or difficult feelings all kind of hit me like a truck when I found myself forced to face them. The reality is nothing bad has to happen for me to feel sad or unwell. I'm someone who needs to share a lot and talk about my feelings in order to feel good on a daily basis. Literally, even if there's nobody around, I will talk out loud. I just find it so liberating. Therefore, as great as my trip was, my lack of journaling and contact with my sister and mom resulted in me bottling up a lot of stuff, which ultimately bubbled up to the surface when I found myself alone. This encouraged me to also write about how I can take better care of myself moving forward. Writing and cooking and reading became my forms of self-care as a result of this reflection. Pesto, throat, suckies, and tea. I'm making pasta. I asked myself what I wanted to prioritize during the rest of the summer, coming to the conclusion that I am in charge of my own happiness, as cheesy as that may sound. If I'm feeling bad, it's up to me to find a way to alter a situation or environment or habit in order to switch that around. It took me a while, but this trip helped me learn to prioritize my personal well-being over wanting to please others in order to feel better overall. I also asked myself simple things like what were my favorite songs and favorite memories throughout the trip, sprinkling in some more lighthearted questions motivates me to keep writing whenever I get a little discouraged or feel like it's getting a bit heavy, which can easily happen when you're in a bad headspace. I talked about the favorite food I had throughout the trip as an attempt to switch the narrative from my criticizing my body to the pleasure of feeding myself well and enjoying wonderful meals. I lastly reflected on how I felt I had changed from the moment I stepped on the plane to Paris to the moment I stepped off one in Nice. Reflections about personal and in a way dated growth are my favorite because they allow me to better understand how certain events have affected and changed my way of doing or seeing or understanding certain things. Whenever I do this exercise, I get a better grasp on what it is I'm striving for and simply what brings me the most joy in this life. I'm gonna go out. I'm gonna go walk to the Corsalea. I'm gonna walk by the water, find a spot to read. I'm gonna bring a coat this time because it's been twice now that I've gone and I get too cold to stay. And then I'm gonna go get ice cream at this place called Pinocchio, which apparently is like the best ice cream in Nice, everyone's saying. So I have to try it. Yeah, the pasta I just had was so mediocre. It actually tasted like dish soap. I inhaled it because I was so hungry and it just is not sitting right. So let's go. to the waterfront, book in hand, ready to do some damage. It was pretty cool out, but the wind did more than give me goosebumps. It carried more sun rays than I was prepared to handle to my sensitive skin. A burn quickly settled onto my shoulders and chest. I didn't even notice until I took my eyes off the pages hours later. I think I just want to wander around and walk all the way to maybe even the Marché aux Fleurs that I also heard was beautiful. I don't know if it's open, I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's just like something you walk by or if it's a market. Craving 
something sweet and refreshing, I walked towards the city center to this ice cream spot I got recommended so many times. I tried their almond flavor and it was delectable. So good. So good. I think my time in Italy reconfigured me to crave ice cream at precisely 2 p.m. every single day because I could not go a day without it. Got some postcards. Okay, I basically read by the beach all day. Then I went to the old town. I bought my mom some postcards and I bought some for myself for my room. And I got ice cream at this place that was recommended by everyone. It was really good. I wish that they gave me more. And then I went back to La Promenade des Anglais and sat down and read my book. And I like put on sunscreen before I left, but clearly I don't know how to because I have the most Bizarre, bizarre, what's bizarre? Tan line. So we're dealing with that. Now I'm going to go walk, like a 30 minute walk to Castle Hill. Apparently great sunset spot. And I've been craving a sunset this entire trip and I still haven't really gotten one. Today was like a really good sky day. There's no clouds in the sky, but then suddenly it looks kind of foggy. So I don't know, let's go. so desperately wanted to watch the sunset on Castle Hill, so I left early and walked 30 minutes to the stairs where I braced myself for the climb. However, once I got up top, a notice declared the entrance to be closed, which I to this day do not understand. So I headed to the waterfront to read by the water and instead enjoyed the pink and purple reflections of the sun setting behind faraway clouds. On my way to Antibes, I want to go explore a new place and they have a farmer's market this morning, Marché Provençal. I'm very excited. Also, my hair put up in a ponytail, it's so disgusting. I just like, I don't know. I felt like I had seen a good bit of Nice from walking around and was feeling a bit antsy, so I decided to train to Antibes for the day, which was only about 30 minutes away by train. <laughs> raining so I didn't spend any time on the beach however I was able to pass by the Marché Provençal where I gleamed at all the pretty produce and picked up some truffle spread for my mom she adores truffle the array of spices they had was impressive I was captivated by the many colors and the many scents all carrying their own distinct flavors walking through markets is one of the simple pleasures of this life that I love to indulge Mannequin, I then stopped in this bakery to try a chouquette. I've had them in Montreal a ton, but wanted to taste one made by a French person. As expected, it was deliciously light and sweet. Then I went to Bis, a vintage shop, and got two skirts. The clothing was color-coded and they had so much selection. The decor was super cool. Next question in the screen. Last stop was at Apupu where I got a tuna poke bowl. The tuna wasn't cleaned properly and it honestly made me feel so nauseous, but I was able to satisfy a craving, so at least there's that. I headed home right after because the rain had turned torrential. This is the first skirt I got. It's like this slip. It's a bit see-through, but I just love the trim. It was nine euro. And then I got this. It was very spur of the moment. This could be cute. I just need to style it well. Nice was my little reset. I got back into good reading habits. Did some much needed introspection by taking pen to paper and just took it easy. Next stop is Saint Raphael, where Mila comes to join me. The rest of the Euro Chronicles are of us traveling through France together and making the best of memories, so stay tuned. Oh, 